G'day guys, and welcome to the first episode of the Want Trip. So here we are. We've just driven a crazy 27 hours, man, from Perth. Maybe uh, we'll show you guys what happened in that right now. Right, you ready for this, man? Yeah. I'm we, so pumped. We got our swags. What more do we need? Four months. Let's do four it. Four months. Yeah. I'm looking <laughs> forward to this. Four weeks. Four, four weeks. months. We're doing the full lap. <laughs> man, I so feel like we forgot something. So amped for this trip. Hey, we've got stacks of room in the car, which is just going to make life so much easier. As you can see, still got a fair bit of room in front of the seats. All these boxes are tied down and they've got little bits of wood to stop them moving around. Camera gear back there. And uh, here we have virtually just storage. So just tools in here. And then we've got a few tools in here. Stacks of room, which is awesome. Can put other stuff in there. Just the swags and camp beds up there and chairs there. Some extra fuel in there. Misha's just gone into the shop to get a few bits and pieces that we still have to get. Kitchen, this whole area here is free, so that'll be awesome for food prep. And then we just got the uh, freezer in here. So yeah, stacks of room, it's just gonna make life so much easier because there's nothing worse than rummaging around when you're traveling, trying to find things, it just drives me nuts. And I'm just so excited to have a setup that's gonna work so well because the Bravo worked, don't get me wrong, but this is just next level, like, you're living out of the car for a month, you want it to be comfy, so, so stoked. Not the first, oh, it is the first, but definitely not the last few lot for this trip. Diesel? Diesel. 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 Diesel, yeah, good. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've been driving for about four hours now. I'm and, hungry, Michael. Yeah, hungry. I'm thirsty. I want some salary and carrots. So we didn't forgot to get the snacks out of the fridge at the last stop. He's drunk two litres of water already. And I'm already thirsty again. We've been driving four hours. <laughs> exactly, a litre every two hours, 500 mil every hour. I should have got a bigger tank, I've only got a 55 litre tank. <laughs> 26 hours to go. Yay! Yay! Woo! <laughs> what you got for dinner there? Some creamy cabanara. Mate, that looks a bit, um... <laughs> Turned out a little bit harder than we hoped for when it was out of the straight out of the fridge, eh? Not bad, makes it easier to eat. You could cut the tension with the knife, as they say, you know? <laughs> Did it fine shooting? Oh, Misha! Oh, no! Where did that go? It went down that hole. What are you doing? I need a torch! I don't know what I'm doing, it's so cold! Just uh, fine tuning the LED light that we just took off Misha's car because obviously it's the first time we're using it, so yeah. <laughs> but an excitement as always. It's cold! <laughs> yeah, it's freezing, eh? It's 24 degrees in Broome oh, right now. Let's go there. Right, let's go! Uh, hit it! Want some ice cream? Oh, some ice cream would be so good right now. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, almost 9 o'clock. We're 300 kilometers from Carnarvon. I've just been having a snooze. Misha's been driving. And it's still cold outside, so we're still not obviously anywhere near Broome. <laughs> I think it's warmer though. It is slightly warmer, but I still can't wait to get up there. We are in Carnarvon, and it is 10.30. Yeah. How are you feeling after the last drive? Don't really know. Don't really I'm do. sort of bored of this. <laughs> Can we uh, do something exciting? Oh. Why do we do this to ourselves? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's 2.30, we're at Nanata Roadhouse. Party time! Yeah, uh, so it's Misha's turn to drive. Yeah! Sleep time! Woo! It's 5 o'clock, and we were 50, 53 kilometers. 53 kilometers, yeah. Away from Karatha. And like technically we were gonna make it with a hundred kilometers to spare, but not a hundred kilometers to spare. Oh well, we had a range of seventy-seven kilometers. That's like twenty kilometers we had to spare. Yeah. Maybe about three liters. Uh, anyway, we treat a little bit more fuel somehow. Mate, you make that look so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one other thing, it's finally started to warm up. Alrighty, so we're in Port Headland. Hooray! And it's like just past eight o'clock. We good. got seven, seven hours. Not nah, six. Oh, six hours to go to and broom. Feel like we just started. 
Oh, pretty much. Feel fresh as the day. Driving through the night, just time flies by. When you're having fun, eh? That's it. Alrighty, first official long stop of the trip. We're actually stopping to cook something. This is the first time we've stopped for more than 15 minutes, I think. Make well, sure we can't figure out how to open up this bag. We actually messaged some friends and they're actually up here. We thought they'd be down home already, but they're up uh, Cape Levique, so we're gonna go meet up with them tonight. We're pretty smashed because we just drove <laughs> 27 hours straight from home. Don't know how much visiting we'll be doing. <laughs> yeah, but, pretty uh, much. Just want to hit the sack we'll really it. and <laughs> have some dinner, hit the sack. But yeah, got to check out a few bits around Cape Levique and hopefully see some cool stuff. Yeah, some we'll salty. Relax a bit and feel refreshed. Relaxed. Are you just like ready to go, like amped? No, not after that drive. Ah, <laughs> oh, far out. So we're out here for four weeks. And we're so going to sleep for most of it. Yeah, pretty much. Nah, just joking. It's just the beginning. <laughs> Pretty much. You ready for this, man? Yeah, let's do it. You. That's crooked, mate. What are you doing? So you're yeah, heading up to James Price Point, just dropping the tires, and let the fun begin. We've done 40 k's of this uh, very interesting road so far. Get a good workout of the abs, oh, yeah. half muscles. Oh, all happening over here. Right. Tell you what, and we get to do this the whole way out tomorrow. Yay! One thing I do got to say, considering we've now been driving for almost 32 hours or something, mm -hmm. I think the only thing that's keeping us going now is just the adrenaline of the adventure starting, eh? Must be. <laughs> Oh, this point feels fairly firm. I reckon we just go for it. Tell you what though, it's really hard to get the croc mentality in your head, eh? Like, yeah. you just see a water cross and you go, oh yeah, we can cross that. I've got a feeling our tyres are a bit too hard for what we're trying to do. Oh mate, action packed creek crossing. Are you alright? Whoa, whoa, mate, almost got bogged. Yep, after 30 odd hours of driving, we're up north. Check out that tide, hey, just like low tide, high tide, just crazy. And it's warm, that's the best part. Mate, we found them. Yes. <laughs> so our first night of the trip, well our first real night camping because last night was on the road, we got this as our backdrop, just stunning and golden hour just makes everything look so much better. So can't wait to keep exploring up here. Me and Misha are probably going to try and have a bit of an early night because we're both a little bit stuffed. I'm just running on adrenaline now because I'm in a new place. <laughs> Mate, love the paint job. A bit of fish. Come on, come on. Nah. Yeah, it's just the Morning guys, so we had a bit of a sleep in this morning, it's uh, 9 o'clock, so get some breakfast happening and virtually chill out for the morning, we don't really have to rush off anywhere which is good, nice to have a bit of a relax after I drive up here, so gonna go back check out James Price Point probably a bit later on because we had to drive straight past it on the way up, so beautiful day, so glad I'm not back in Perth in the freezing weather. We got bacon and egg sandwiches. 
Yum. You feel like driving anywhere yet? Nah. Nah? Nah. Feel Stay like here for, for another feel day? Like going for a swim. Yeah, swim would sound good, eh? Hey? After breakfast. Have some brick in, getting that water. It's rushing in so fast. It looks awesome. Just whirlpools everywhere. I didn't see you pack your fishing rod. Might. Uh, never know where you might find a fishing rod, you know? I didn't know you went to fishing. <laughs> Nothing wrong with casting out a reel, you know? Alrighty, well that's our first night. So we're just camping just south of Cape Berthelet, which is up past Broome. And fantastic spot, can't recommend it enough. Like. I've never really camped in such a tidal area really in my life, so it's just awesome seeing how quickly the tides go up and down. Also the boys were catching some pretty mad mud crabs as well, so something worth trying if you're up here too. But yeah, definitely worth checking out, just awesome scenery. Something different to back home anyway for us. Ah oh, mate, you know they got better beaches than Esperance. <laughs> the thing is, you can't be at Esperance this time of the year. That's true, eh? Why well, is not this good? So these guys just did the just canning stock route. Train. How was the canning stock route, Mike? It was very good, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so you do it again? I'd do it again. I'd nice. do it again. If you wanted to join. Okay. Even Ariel would do it again. So, here's the part that blows me away, right? They had three people in this cab. Look how much room there is. I don't know how the two girls didn't kill each other in there, but anyway. Where do you think the other girl is now? <laughs> Hey guys, if you've been enjoying this video, please like it. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button to see the rest of this series because uh, we got lots of cool stuff to come up. I hope. Do we, Misha? Hmm? Are we going to do cool stuff? We might do some cool stuff, so you're going to like it. How's that sunshine? Ah, oh, so good to be like in warm weather. <laughs> Mate, the missing good burning sunshine like that. Checking out some rock pools, apparently uh, a must do when you're here. When we did the canning, we did it across four deserts. Oh, right. Me and Harley put every desert sand on our hats. Put it down and get it stuck on, right? Plus against the top. $230. Well spent money, eh? That's it!
So I might have already said this in a video, I might not have, but um, so nice to be out of the cold, man. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, beach weather, awesome. Sucks to be in Perth right now. <laughs> Alrighty, well that's uh, that's uh, Cape Levique. We didn't even go to Cape Levique. <laughs> We went somewhere better, probably. At least exactly. from what we heard. Yeah, from what the locals said, this area around James Price Point and north of James Price Point is pretty much on par with Cape Levique. And you didn't have to go so far. Exactly. Saved so ourselves about 200 k's. Exactly, and it only takes a couple of hours to get out here from Broome, so it's nice and close. Mind you, they did say if you own a boat, Cape Levique is the bee's knees. Especially if you're a fisherman. Exactly. Apparently there's islands and that out there yeah. you can go check out. But what an awesome night. The guys were catching mud crabs last night and kept it interesting. Definitely. It was sweet seeing the uh, tides come in. Oh man, like it so is... fast. Yeah, and such a big change, like yeah. huge meter changes. Yeah, amazing. Because like, oh. we're, not, we're not used to that in Perth, are we? Like... Nah, not what you'd see down in Perth. Oh, exactly. For sure. So, definitely awesome place to check out. Highly yep. recommend it. From here, we're heading into the Northern Territory, so. Yeah. We got plenty to show you guys over there. A couple, another thousand or so kilometers to go, so. So amped. <laughs> yeah, amped. man. All right, let's do it. Looking forward to Mataranka. See you guys in the next one. Yeah. All right, let's do it. What? Let's get your shovel and you're a sprinkle, <laughs> a full body one. What do you reckon? I reckon we can send that into an art gallery. So, uh, do you feel like you need a swim or what? Uh, a fresh shower would be good. A fresh shower. <laughs> Just a bit dusty. Yeah, a little bit, eh? <laughs> 